Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting vulnerability which is known as CORS misconfiguration. And CORS basically stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing. So you're going to see what is this CORS mis misconfiguration, how an attacker can exploit this particular vulnerability, and how we as a penetration tester or bug bounty hunter can find this vulnerability on the web. But as always, before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have talked about how we can do reconnaissance on a large scale, you know, that can be useful to uh, prevent uh, application firewalls from, you know, uh, blocking our IP address, then go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let us get started. Okay, so now let us try to understand what is course and what is course policy okay because this is very important first thing is that course policy like let us take an example for example let us say that i have a website let's say bepractical.tech okay now i want some of my resources to be shared with different websites for example let's say i have two more subdomains like you know api.bepractical.tech or probably uh, you can say login.bepractical.tech right now i want them to access some of my resources maybe it can be some javascript files it can be some you know uh, you can say user information or something like that for that what we basically do is we set a policy which we call this called as course policy course basically stands for as i've told you before cross origin resource sharing so using this policy we will allow our website to share resources with each other okay as simple as that so if i want my website to share resources with you know other websites i'll use course policy okay now what happens is like uh, you know overall what happens is like if i have not set my course policy you know correctly then it might be possible that i accidentally allow some other websites to access my resources as well as well right so that can be very dangerous for example over here let us try to understand this simple flow okay and when we are going to exploit the you know uh, or see the, how we can find the poc in that scenario i'm going to tell you exactly what we need to do okay for example let us say that this is website one abc.com and this is website two okay now let's say that website one wants to access some resources of website two for example let's say we have a javascript file so it's going to send first of all it's going to send a request which is something like this hey can I access test.js from you? Okay. Then the website to the backend of website two, which is def.com is going to check the course policy. Okay. Which is, is abc.com allowed to access test.js? And this is the course policy, right? And course policy is basically a collection of all these, you know, data, like who can access, which website can access, uh, you know, sorry, which website can access our resources, what exactly can be accessed, like, for example, only test.js, or, you know, we can restrict some files. The interesting part is for us, for attacker is, can they send cookies? You know, can they, you know, by sending the request, can they also send the cookies for website too? Is it possible? And then again, can they access any sensitive endpoint? Okay, so these are all what contains in the cost policy. And based on that, let's say that this particular website was allowed. So cost policy will, you know, just roughly it will say yes. And then the website two is going to send the request back, sorry, response back to website one that, hey, you can access the test.js file. And now, the third th on the third step what happened what is happening is the website one is again going to send the request that hey please give me the file so on step number one it was you know just asking whether i can access this file or not on step number three it is directly going to retrieve the file and since it is allowed it will be get you know get sent to the website one in the response okay it is as simple as that now let's take another example where this is not allowed okay for example here it is okay so uh, another example is that can I send requests with cookies? So let's say website one is trying to like, you know, send requests to website two along with cookies. Okay. So first going to verify whether am I allowed to do that or not? Okay. Website two is again going to check the cost policy and let us say in this scenario, it is not allowed. Fine. In that case, cost policy will roughly return no. And website two will say that no, you cannot send requests with cookies. And hence the connection will terminate it. Okay. In this scenario, website one won't be able to send any request further because the request has been denied on the first step, right? They're not allowed to share cookies at all. 
so this is something which is very important okay so this is a case of you know proper mitigation whereas this one if let's say that in this scenario uh, you know sending cookies are allowed then it might be possible that it is vulnerable or it is misconfigured okay i hope you are able to understand this okay so again the last thing is that how the server identifies you know the request is coming from which website for that we have one particular header which is known as origin so origin is the header which is basically tells the you know backend that where the request has been coming from okay we're going to see all of this in the practical scenario so let us now go ahead and start with the practicals so now let us try to understand about cores and how cores misconfiguration can you know can be found okay so let's say that i have a website over here and we're going to assume that this is a live application okay just did a quick uh, refresh and you can see uh, it says that to log in we can use this particular endpoint and to delete an account we can use this particular endpoint right now to find a particular vulnerability what we need to do is like first let's try to intercept the traffic okay and i'm going to send this to repeater let's maximize web suit and over here you can see here's the request i'm going to remove this so that the request don't get any cached okay and we're going to send the request to api and set cookie right and i want to change the request method from get to put because this is the request which is getting accepted okay now once you send the request okay you see we're getting the response that it says cookie has been set cookie has been set and this is the session id right the first thing that you need to do is you need to find cores on those particular endpoints which is handling something sensitive right for example this login functionality can be sensitive okay but if you're going to report uh, a login functionality uh, you might get it marked as informative okay let's go to another endpoint like we've got another endpoint over here api user delete okay i'm just going to copy this as well uh, the whole endpoint and i'm going to send the request over here and just going to change the request method okay and let me paste it right over here api user delete and i'm going to adjust this cookie right over here okay this one okay let's send the request now and you can see what it says user has been deleted and the username is disclosed right over here fine now to identify cost misconfiguration first you need to look for these two important headers in the response first header is access control allow origin this header basically indicates that whether you are a you know whether this particular server is going to accept requests from any other uh, origin okay or any other web application or any other website okay this is the first thing the second thing is this particular header which is access control allow credential this is the important header why because this header tells that whether any other website who's going to send the request to course.bpractical.tech on the same endpoint is allowed to share or send the cookie along with the request or not if it is set to true then it basically means that yeah they are allowed to send the cookie otherwise they will not be able to send the request with the cookies okay i hope you will able to understand this yeah so this is these are the two headers that we need to you know uh, look for in uh, whenever we are doing like uh, looking for course misconfiguration now once we have found that what we need to do is like if there is any origin header present in your request body you can simply going to you are simply going to modify that otherwise you can just go ahead and add your own origin header like this okay so origin header basically tells the backend server that where is this request coming from right so i'm just going to type origin and let's for example give it as course dot b practical dot tech just for the example okay send the request and if in the access control allow origin header you, you can see the same uh, you know value which we have put in the origin header of the request right so if if this value is getting reflected in this uh, access control allow origin and along with that if this particular header is present as well which says access control allow credential true it basically means that the origin cost or be practical dot tech is allowed to send the request on the server along with the cookies along with the credentials right let's try to modify this to some other target okay like let's say null just for the example okay 
send the request okay now again you can see <coughs> sorry whatever value we are giving over here is reflecting in the access control allow origin right along with that we have access control allow credential is set to true right this simply indicates that this particular application can accept request from any other website and the important part is that we can send the cookies along with it so the browser is going to send the cookies right so this is how you're going to find cost misconfiguration okay whatever value you're giving in the origin if it is getting reflected in the access control allow origin header as well as if this particular header is present access control allow credential which is set to true then this particular application or that particular application is vulnerable to cause misconfiguration okay this is how we need to find this particular you know vulnerability fine now let's go ahead and see that how we can create a proof of concept to find or you know to report this particular vulnerability now to actually you know create a proof of concept what we can do is so currently if you take a note so currently this request is getting sent from the website right from this origin cost.bpractical.net so we need to send this request from a different origin probably we can host it on our website or maybe we can just show it you know on our local machine so the idea is to send the request from a different origin fine so for that i have created a very simple poc right over here okay so let me just open this with firefox here and let me show you the code okay so this is the code so this is the button okay and then you can see that when we're, when we're clicking the button so the request is getting sent to this and this true indicates that we want to use the credential as well okay and since this application is vulnerable it will allow us to use the credential fine and right now you can see this file is present in our local machine so the request is going to be sent from the local host or from null meaning from our machine right whereas in this since we're accessing everything from the website right so the origin is going to be the, this particular website which is course.bpractical.tech i hope you're able to understand this so what i'm going to do now is i'm simply going to turn on the intercept i'm going to click on submit let's see what happens so first there is this options request which is getting sent to the application this will indicate uh, or this will this is just sent to you know just to know whether this particular origin is allowed to access the credential or you know send the request with credential or not as simple as that so i'm just going to do intercept the response okay for the request and you can see we've got the origin as well as this access control allow credential true and the next time the request the request will send is uh, this delete one right so this is the request which is getting sent and you can clearly notice that the cookies are getting sent as well right and if we intercept the response you can see it says user deleted so over here what we were able to achieve we were able to use cost course misconfiguration to delete any users right so it is similar to you know uh, what you can say cross that request forgery but it is somewhat a little little more complicated and it requires course misconfiguration i hope you are able to understand this and now let us talk about that how we can fix this particular vulnerability okay so as you can see right here i am at my server okay and i'm going to show you the code the vulnerable one and then i'm going to show you the code which fixes this particular vulnerability for example index.js this is a vulnerable one and just to understand this what it is doing whatever origin we are giving it is just reflecting it in the access control allow origin right so basically this allows or this tells the browser that this particular origin is authorized to share the cookies or send the request along with the cookies right because these two headers access control allow credential as well as access control allow origin is present and in access control allow origin we have the uh, any origin that you'll give is going to be shown right over here okay so this is this was the vulnerable scenario right now let's talk about the uh, you know fix uh, of this particular vulnerability okay so the fixed code is written in index2.js okay let me show it to you index2.js now what it is doing is so you can see it is like white listing the targets okay so you can see only this target which is trusted site is allowed to send the request with the cookies okay you can see otherwise what we'll get over here that the request will be blocked okay or the request is going to be blocked 
right so this is a simple fix basically what the fix says that you should always white list the set of origins that you're allowing for example let's say you have your website let's say bpractical.tech and you're handling the request and response from api.bpractical.tech in that case you can just add the origin as api.bpractical.tech so any request which will only be sent through api.bpractical.tech will be allowed to send the request with the cookies and the rest of the you know application or in the rest of the website or any other origins will simply get blocked okay to validate this we can simply start this application on my machine index 2 yeah okay let's try to do that again click on submit you can see options request is getting sent and if we check the response this time you will notice that access control allow origin as well as access control allow credential both of them are missing in this case why it is missing because the origin is null and null was not present in the white list uh, white list basically yeah and now if i forward the request you will notice that the request is not getting sent right now if i do the same thing you know like over here if i send the request let me uh, you know what i can do is uh, let me send the request with this one okay what you can see over here is that the access control allow origin and the access control allow credential have been removed from this particular spawn whereas if i add the origin header okay yeah you can clearly see that what we're getting over here that access control allow origin is now set to this particular website okay and we can now even you know send the request along with the credential using this particular website so this is how you can fix this vulnerability right if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section and also i will request you to join our be practical telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security about bounty hunting and penetration testing and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thank you so much for watching